I think she is so many people's only safety net. She's a phenomenal woman. When she was in her 30s and in her 20s, she was advocating for transgender rights. And to this day, she still does that. Majors told me she really doesn't care whether you call her he or she. She's a mother, she's a father, she's a grandmother, a grandfather. She's a little bit of everything. I feel like she's like deeply genderqueer in this way. Like someone will be like, you're a woman. And she'll be like, I'm a wonder woman. I wonder what kind of woman I am. When you're around Miss Major, she will stop the whole world to look at you and to really see you. Mother was sure that next year was going to be the year I became the man I was supposed to be. I am the man I'm supposed to be. I'm lovely, <laughs> you know? So. Prisons are basically a concentrated torture situation for a lot of trans women. I was ridiculed, I was raped. Nobody knew that we existed, and they really didn't give a damn how we were treated. I've seen her sit up there and buy money orders and put monies on people's books. I'm like, you don't even know these people. Yes, I do. They're trans and they're in jail. That's enough. There's girls in prison who need to hear from us, who need to know that somebody out here gives a damn whether they live or die. She deserves to be recognized for what she does in our community. I hope each and every one of you, when you leave here, and anyone says, oh, I'm here about the GLBT, no, 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 motherfucker, T comes first. <laughs> she is our leader. She is showing us how to do this work. So thank you so much, Ms. Major. I want things better for everybody, not just my community. And if they would accept my community, just for who they are, it would be better for everybody. She loves unconditionally and without judgment. She is the blueprint for our liberation and has ensured that the path that I walk on, that we all walk on, is less rocky because she exists. We have to look out for one another because we're all we got. And the thing is, when the dust settles, I want a whole bunch of transgender girls to stand up and say, I'm still fucking here.